little bit of wisdom that I've picked up on over the years. Just a little tidbit for you today. You can't convince someone using logic and reason who arrived at their worldview, their opinion, by means other than logic and reason. And you've, you've heard this quote before. It's certainly not my original, uh, but I'm sure others have said it better. The general idea is that if someone arrives at a, a way of thinking, let's say they love someone and they think that that person is just wonderful, but it's a feels thing. It's an emotion thing. It's not a rational thing. And you, and you look and you go, wow, this person's completely wrong for you. They're a psycho. They're mean to you. They have no future. They're lazy. They're dishonest. They're, yeah, they're hot. But otherwise, they've got nothing going for them. And you, you try to convince the person kind of saying the kinds of thing I, things I just did, maybe a little bit more nicely. But you say these things and the person doesn't get it. And they don't get it because they didn't come to arrive. They didn't arrive at that, that worldview, that, that belief, by means of logic and reason. What's another example? Religion. And, and I'm not going to make an opinion here. I'm not going to tell you what my opinion is about whether religion is good or bad or true or valid or whether there is one or more gods that exist or uh, I'm not going to get into that. I think everyone would agree that religious beliefs are not based on logic and reason. It's more of a feeling. It's a, it's a faith thing. It's something that you don't arrive at after a lot of hard study and reading books and, and looking for the scientific, logical, rational truth. So the person who is a, uh, a theist who is in love with someone, if you try to change their mind about either of those things, you're going to have to do it through, log through uh, uh, emotion. You're not going to be able to do it through logic or reason. And this is something that I continue to struggle with because the, the way of communicating the way of thinking that I understand is thinking, it's logic, it's reason. It's, it's using the scientific method or believing in that particular method, if not the many of the people who claim to use it. So what does this mean in terms of liberty when we're speaking to those whom we care about and we're trying to share with them why we have come to the conclusions we've come to about voluntarism or humanitarianism, whatever word one wants to put to it, you know, it's not something we can do the logic and reason thing to. Now, if they're a computer programmer, maybe so, and that makes up probably 70% of the people who are voluntarists today, because those people are very uh, logical, rational thinking. I guess that's how coding works. I'm one of the few who uh, are, are not a coder. But if you're, you're speaking to anybody other than that, just know that they came to believe in the, the legitimacy of government through emotion, through years of hearing their ma and pa talk about it, their teacher, their preacher, their neighbors, their, their res the people who they respect. They've heard this, just it pounded into their head. And that's not logic and reason. It's not like they sat down and fairly contemplated both sides of the issue and, and came up with the answer they thought was best. So to come to those people with logic and reason or gotcha, type comments or being harsh or telling them they're stupid if they can't understand something or how can you not see blah, blah, blah. It's not going to work. That's not how they came to hold that worldview that they have, that that worldview of, of initiating violence, of statism, of, of believing in limited government or huge government or whatever. They didn't come to that worldview through logic and reason, and you're not going to get them there by those means, most of the time, obviously, occasionally you can, but for the most part, you can't. So just something to think about. If you disagree, let me know. There are better methods. Uh, check out Larkin Rose's uh, work, his, uh, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I'll just link it below and uh, sign up for it. It's really worth it. I, I took the, I think the two or three day class in uh, Mexico uh, a few couple years ago, right as the COVIDians were starting to attack in February of 2020, I think. And uh, it was very worthwhile. I thought I kind of knew all of Larkin's stuff and eh, I'll just go sit there and support him. But it was actually, it's kind of a good good thing they put together. Um, it's it's long and maybe doesn't need to be, but it's it's worth doing. So I would sign up and uh, yeah, check it out. Thanks. And if you'd be up for subscribing, that'd mean a lot. If this uh, video meant something to you and you, you think, think of someone else who might enjoy it, 
please do share it with them.